This is my brine shrimp in a bucket project that I started, I don't know, over a month ago now. I can't remember exactly when, but I got the idea from uh, Dr. Ted Coletti, the tub and pond handbook guy. And if you haven't already, you wanna buy his book, it's on Amazon. But look at them all. These are full size brine shrimp out here, no air, just water. I top it off from the aquarium in the house when I change the, uh, the water and the, you know, when I do a, a, oh boy, yeah, when I do a water change on that tank in the house, I just top it off here. And it's almost turned into green water and it's brine or salt. It's, uh, it started out at 1.025 specific gravity. And, you know, I, I haven't really checked it since and I probably ought to, but it's one of those things, if it's work, don't work and don't mess with it. And you can see all the old cysts around the, the top and as it evaporates down salt crust there so when i top it off i rinse all that down back in so the salt pretty much stays in the system there's a little bitty brine shrimp right there can't really make this any better can i it's yeah i got that glare this is probably a lousy time to do this but it's working it's working really well and i netted some out a few times uh, when they were smaller and fed them to my fry in the garage, my Koi Kahaku Swordtail Fry. And I've also netted out some of these bigger ones. There's bugs fall in, and there's leaf litter in there. I feed it a spirulina powder just occasionally. And I don't know, maybe, I don't even know if it's weekly. And uh, off they go. If you haven't tried this, this is just a five gallon paint bucket, home despot, and a white one. Um, I don't know, I tried green water in orange buckets and other stuff, didn't have the luck until I tried the white bucket. So I'm gonna say the best thing here is a white bucket also. So anyway, uh, thanks to my members. I really appreciate your support. Thanks to my subscribers. I also really appreciate your support and thanks for looking.